Hi guys, um, today is Gathering of the Gods number seven, video number seven. Um, just a quick reminder that on Sundays at three o'clock, you can join us for a live TikTok meeting. I'm going to put a video on how you can register for the meetings. You basically just go into my profile um, and you select the event and then you can register so that it will give you a reminder. I'll explain more about that. Um, so, firstly, I am extremely excited about what is happening and where we are going. I'm not really an excitable person. It might be from previous experiences that we had in life. But, so for example, let me say this year we got two new cars. And my wife would, would ask me, are you excited about this? I was like, when the car is here, I'll be excited. But now I can really see the future. I'm extremely excited for what is coming. Today I had to write down some points because I tend to get excited now and forget everything that I wanted to share. So, number one, different exercises. Okay, when I go to gym, I do different exercises for every muscle. People will often ask me, what do you do for this um, arm or that muscle or whatever and I'll say I'll probably do everything at some point. I do have favorites which I focus on first and then I try the other exercises to to see if there's something that will work better. I follow my intuition in the gym especially as well to feel what my body is saying to me in terms of the exercises. Now because this is a new beginning for all of us um, in this specific uh, platform with my TikTok thingy, it's about learning what works and what doesn't work. One thing will work for you and it might not work for me, so don't get stuck in the one thing. When we do the live things, we are going to have different people running the event and they will share what they experienced and they will give us a, um, a session where they are in charge, doing it their way. And we're going to try and see how it works for us. One thing I did quickly learn is, uh, um, and I saw my wife making a video now on the same thing. I don't force anything. There's a video I watched where the guy said, let it come to you. That sort of makes sense because I understand how the prophetic works. So I just need to let it come to me. Now I breathe, I do the breathing exercises and I become conscious of whatever happens in the body or in the mind. I try not to let my mind dwell, so the counting works very well for me. At the moment I do three different exercises which are basically the same type of idea. I'll start off with uh, one and I'm doing only five seconds in inhalation, five seconds holding my breath and five seconds releasing. For some reason, um, I'm struggling a bit with the seven seconds. So there's no fighting here. There's no resistance. I'm doing five seconds to see how it works for me and it's working quite well. I do the one for, let's say, for, I do it now for half an hour because the music I listen to is half an hour. I listen to a thing that is frequency and um, affirmations, okay? But I don't focus on that. It's just playing in the background. I'm focusing on my breath. And because I know how to see pictures, this is something that will start happening to you as we show you where the pictures are coming from and what the pictures mean. That is something I want to discuss hopefully now, probably not, but in the next video then. Okay. So don't get stuck on one thing. Try different exercises of breathing, three seconds, five seconds, seven seconds, um, when I do brain heart coherence, I don't do the holding of my breath. I only inhale five seconds and I exhale for seven seconds. Different exercise, different experience. Okay, uh, resistance. I'm going through everything quickly. So we'll discuss more of this on the live meetings. This is just to get you to see what you are going through and for you to share what you are going through. When you study the Bible, you'll learn, for example, with the ten plagues, it was God's will for his people to come out of Egypt, but there was resistance. Now, all of that is actually happening in your mind. Because of the chemicals in your mind, you, have, you are addicted. When you start trying a new behavior, 
Your brain is fighting that. Your ego is fighting that. Your chemical balance is fighting that. So it's like, what was that word? Um, well, the English was there now for a second. It's there, but it doesn't want to come. You are going to experience some resistance in your body, in your mind, in your thinking. Your mind wants to dwell. Your body doesn't want to do this. It's going to be a pouring out of the old wine so that you can pour in the new one. Don't get frustrated and don't, even myself, I'm, I'm struggling daily to find out what works the best for me. Today again, I had a very, very good experience also after about an hour and a half. But it was because I followed my intuition. Okay, so expect the resistance. Don't focus on it. Don't resist it. Just try and do your breathing and relax. That's something that happens to me. I sometimes focus so on my breathing, pulling in the air as much as possible because I can feel the tightness in my chest that I start holding my neck stiff and my hand starts pulling with me um, because I want to do it. And then I realize, oh, just relax. And then it, it gets easier. But we are in the beginning process where so we are going to grow through this thing. Um, experiencing pains and emotions okay so firstly when I do the I've got certain pains in my body but when I do the exercise I'll let's say I'll feel a pain in my shoulder I don't resist it I become aware of it and then I release healing to it okay yesterday after three hours of meditation I walked into the through the house to eat breakfast and I had a pain on my chest it felt as if I'm having a heart attack now that I think of it, shouldn't have been my pain, but I realized the pain was intense. It was bad. I went back to my bedroom after eating and I started meditating again, breathing again. 15 minutes, got up, went out, no more pain. So this is where I'm getting to. When we did the prophetic nights of worship, or well, for myself, this happened many, many years ago. I would experience other people's emotions. This morning, a friend sent to me, she is experiencing other people's emotions. She felt um, deep sorrow and she knew it wasn't hers. And then she um, asked a couple of people. Eventually, the one person said, yes, a close family member died and she was having this experience. Now, when you realize this, you can actually go into your inner room go into meditation and breathe and relax that pain because we are one body. Everything is connected. You, when you become conscious of the body, of the oneness, you are experiencing that person's pain. Now, you don't even have to know that person. That's what I wanted to say about the Nights of Prophetic Worship. You don't have to know that person. But when you go in and you release that pain, that person is going to experience a miracle. They are going to suddenly feel, what happened? The burden is lifted and I did nothing. I had a prophetic word about this years ago that said, because of what I'm doing, other people are going to enter into their inheritance without even knowing why. Now I know what is happening. We are going to collapse time and space by becoming conscious, by entering into the oneness of who we are as a vibration, as God, and we are going to heal the body without parts of the body even knowing why. And that's funny enough how the body is actually designed. Okay, the last one I'm going to leave for another video because I'm on nine minutes now. I hope this makes sense. There's a lot of stuff that we are going to need to learn, going to need to connect to what we already know. But this is very exciting, so I hope I see you on the live event, and we will take it from there again. Have an awesome day. Cheers.